I have a method for you of calibrating your ESC endpoints and your clean flight throttle parameters that is going to maximize the resolution of the signal between the flight controller and the ESC. The ESC, if you're running standard BL Heli, has about 250 steps of input resolution. And you might think, well, 250 steps of input resolution, well, I'm going from 1,000 to 2,000, min command to max throttle, so that's 1,000 steps, so I got plenty of resolution. But actually, BL Heli divides the incoming signal by 8, which means that if you have less than 1,000 steps between min command and max throttle, you're actually not getting all the input resolution that you could. This is the point where the nitpickers in the audience will go, oh, does it really matter? No, it doesn't matter. Shut up. It's fun to care about these things. Maybe it does matter. Anyway, if you care about these things, I'm going to show you what to do. Let's get into it. The first thing you need to do is you need to know how many microseconds of throttle signal you need between the point where your motor just barely starts to spin up and your min throttle. So in my case, I know that for these ESCs and these motors, I need about 15 microseconds in order to avoid any, uh, if, I, if I do a rapid flip or a snap roll, avoid dropping arms and getting what people commonly call desyncs, but in fact are, are min throttle too low. I need about 15 microseconds of buffer between the point where the motor starts to spin up and my min throttle. If you have a copter that is flying fine and you're not having any problems, then look at your min throttle, go to the motors tab, raise the slider and find the point where the motor just starts to twitch and look at the difference between those and make a note of that number, okay? In my case, the magic number here is 15 microseconds. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to set your min command to 980 and your max throttle to 2000, okay? And then save that and then disconnect and we're going to go over to BL Heli. I'm going to plug my ESCs in. I am using a current limiting light bulb, a smoke stopper, as it were. I highly recommend you do all of that. And I, uh, I also have my props off. Set your PPM min throttle to 1000 and your PPM max throttle to 2020. These are the max values that are possible. Save that to all four ESCs. And then I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to power cycle my ESCs. I'm going to connect in the clean flight configurator and I'm going to go to my motors tab. Now, min command is 980. I'm going to start spinning the motors and I'm going to find the spin up point. Now, with these new calibration parameters, the new PPM endpoints, where does my motor start spinning? Okay, 1002. 1002 is the point where all four of my motors were solidly spinning. I'm going to take 1002, I'm going to add my magic number to it, which was 15. I'm going to go and I'm going to set my min throttle to 1017. That's it. You've now calibrated your bottom end. That's the lowest your min throttle can possibly be. This is the lowest the ESC's endpoint can possibly be. And this is the lowest your min throttle can possibly be, given that. That is the maximum resolution you can possibly get out of the bottom end of the throttle channel, at least as far as I, I can see it. That's how it looks to me. Now let's do the top end. We're going to adjust. We're not going to change max throttle, but we're going to adjust the top end by changing this PPM max here. Now the PPM max is currently at 2020. Let's see how that works. I'm going to go to the motors tab. Now I am going to spin this to the max. Ideally, you would do this with a 2S battery because if you spin the motor too fast with the prop off, you can cause sync problems. You can even you can even burn the ESC or the motor in an extreme case. So the best thing to do is to use a 2S battery. I don't have a 2S battery with an XT60 connector on it. I'm using a 3S battery at 11.1 .1 volts, and I've got an automotive light bulb in here, which is going to reduce the voltage even more once I start drawing current. As a result, you're going to actually hear, you, no, you're not going to hear my copter beeping, never mind. This one doesn't beep. But um, that, is, that is what makes it safe to spin the motors with no props on all the way up to full throttle. If you have a 4S battery and you try this, you may, you may have a problem. You may have some smoke come out of your motors. You don't want that. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise this slider up to max. And then I'm going to knock it down by 10 points. And then I'm going to hit the home key to knock it back up again. Mm 
Now, if you listen carefully, when I you can actually hear it go down when I go from 2000 to 1990. But sometimes the difference is really subtle and it's hard to hear. So what I suggest you do is you take it down to 1990 and then you hit the home key, which jumps it immediately back to 2000. And that sharp change is easy to hear. Now, there is a difference in 19, between 1990 and 2000. And what that means is I have not yet found the flat spot at the top of the throttle range. So I could be leaving some top end power off. I could be under calibrating and not reaching full power on my motors. So what I'm gonna do if I do hear a difference between 1990 and 2000, is I'm gonna go into BL Heli Suite and I'm gonna reduce the max throttle by one click. I'm going to go back to clean flight. I'm going to power cycle my ESCs. I'm going to go to the motors tab and I'm going to repeat that test. Okay, I am still hearing a difference between about 1990, 1993, and 2000. Fine. I'm going to go back to BL Heli Suite and I'm going to knock that down by one more click and I'm going to write again. You hear how there's no difference there? No difference at all. Just the barest difference between 95 and, 90 and 2000. No difference at all. There's the first step. 1987 is the first clear step. Okay, so the top of my throttle is right now 1987. And I have then 13 points of dead band at the very top of the throttle. By the way, I should repeat that test for all four motors, but in the interest of your time, I'm not going to subject you to that. We're going to go back. Now, we can leave the max throttle here at 2012 which means we'll have 13 points of dead band at the top of the throttle channel, but we know we will never, uh, we will be, we know we will be achieving 100% power, or we can knock this up to 2016, in which case we may slightly not be making full power by a few points, but we know we won't have any dead band. It's your call which of those you want to do. Okay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, if you followed all that, good for you. And if you didn't follow all that, feel free to ask questions in the comments. As always, happy flying.